Throughout the galaxy, a legend was told. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood, the Gungeon. It was said to have held an artifact of impossible power, a gun that could kill the past. Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to Switch on the Ground. Today we're going to take a look at Exit the Gungeon. This is the intro. Been waiting for this game for a long time, man. Most who sought the gun perished. And others languished for eternity in the Gungeon's halls. Precious few, however, achieved their aims and took their shot. But in doing so, wounded time itself. Dun dun dun. As the Gungeon becomes paradox and begins to shatter, the last of the Gungeoneers must. Here it comes, dude. You ready? Exit the Gungeon. Exit the Gungeon. Exit the Gungeon. Wow, dude. Okay, yeah, so uh, we're going to play Exit the Gungeon. This came out uh, a couple days ago during the, you know, uh, Indie World thingy where they announced a bunch of cool games that were coming out. Um, because I am who I am, uh... I actually had to record a bunch of runs with my kids screaming at me, so here we are. Welcome to Exit the Gungeon. We're playing as the, um, the convict or the, whatever they call this character. You can choose between four of them. These are the part of the original Gungeoneers that you could play, uh, for, uh, Enter the Gungeon. So this actually takes place after you've entered the Gungeon and beat it, killed, shot the past. I've never got that far in enter the gungeon i love the game super bad at it and right now i'm actually probably about two hours in so i've unlocked some stuff got the bar guy down there and we're just gonna jump in dude so we're gonna take a run the premise here is that that little blue dude that we saw built this elevator that's gonna take us all out of the out of the gungeon so that we can exit so it's this classic dual stick shooter that we had before except it's you know side scrolling instead of like 3d isometric thingy and um one of the cooler bits here is that your gun actually upgrades like every like minute or two minutes as you can see i'm shooting these turtle shells horribly like i said i'm not very good don't expect any magic here and one of the cooler things, here is the dodge mechanic. If you're in the air, you cannot be killed, like hit. Which is awesome. So instead of like, you know, dodging left or right or whatever, like you did in the uh, enter the gungeon and exit the gungeon, you just gotta be airborne, dude. And it's a lot of the guns from the other game. Um, some of these I'd actually never seen before, so I can't 100% say they were actually in the game, but we all know that guy. And the prisoner's little special ability here is like, when she gets hit, she actually does more damage. So when you see that little like angry face above her head, she's actually doing more damage. So every Gungeoneer has the same first level. They all go up this same elevator. They all encounter one of these like dungeon rooms that you stop in. They're kind of randomized. I think there's like three or four different ones that you might get. This is one of them. And you get in here and you kill the baddies until they're dead. Cause that's your job. And some of the weapon, like, I'm just gonna say it right out, the blunderbuss should be removed from the game. You'll see it if I ever get it. It's just terrible. I hate it. I do like the shell one though. It gets a little crazy. The bubble blaster does a lot of damage, but shit is super slow. So as you can, one cool mechanic that you see here is I like jumped and then I dodged in the air, like I leaped forward. That was actually pretty cool. I like that. You can really get some mobility going if you're in the zone. But it's really hard for me to get in the zone in these games. So when the room is done, you get a chest. I've had blue chests. 
And these heavy boots are awesome. Watch when I jump. Boom. Creates a little shockwave. And these chests are all randomized, right? Like the items that you get. And how you progress through the game is you get the currency that you had like in the other games. And then you go spend it at the merchant and you unlock weapons available. Okay, this one is my favorite. I fucking love this gun, dude. Check it out. It's a guitar. We're like shredding riffs, shooting out musical notes. How cool is that? So, in the end, like, when I was playing through the runs earlier today, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do a run with each character, see how far I get. Because I'm so bad, I didn't get very far with one of the characters, so I chopped out a lot. But I do get pretty far with these guys, and I actually beat a couple of the bosses that I never, like, fought before. So I did way better than I did the other night when I was trying to stream it. So I'm pretty happy about that. This little bullet boy, he'll get you, dude. If you're not paying attention, he just like kind of sneaks up in the corner of the screen, and before you know it, boom, he's straight up your butt. That's a no bueno. Ooh, this is another favorite of mine, this gun right here. This little wave boy. He's nice. This little fight saber is kind of cool, too. It's like a lightsaber, but a gun. So this is the Minotaur. I was pretty scared here. I'm sorry. The Buffamo. Toward. Yeah, whatever. I was pretty scared here because he's killed me like every single time that I've fought him. But for some reason, dude, I was in the zone. And I was just like, I'm taking him out, dude. I don't care. So a lot of this is like, you're jumping in the air. And then you're basically trying to calculate if you're going to land on a piece of the level. Uh, where there's going to be something that can hit you. And it can get pretty tricky, dude. But uh, as long as you keep doing the, you know, five Ds of dodgeball, you're Gucci. And I took him out. I was actually super happy to see that. So here's where it gets interesting. So everybody has the same first level. You go up the same elevator, you get your little randomized dungeon. We got just got the hot pepper, the gungeon pepper, which basically makes a little, like, AoE thing around you that damages enemies when you're close to them. But what makes this interesting is every gungeoneer from this point forward has a different experience. So when you get past level one, you get to the shop. There's a little rat boy there. In the beginning, he gives you the key for free and you're able to unlock, I think it's the merchants you unlock first. Again, I played this for a little bit and then you have to pay him 50 bullets or bullet shells or whatever to get another key. And then as you progress higher, you unlock more and more NPCs. So I was able to unlock the bar dude and the merchants that we'll probably see later. And this is the shop guy that we remember from the first game. So the shop is now a little computer, which is kind of cool. And there's that little like, like D hundred looking dice thing in the corner of the counter. I think you get a bonus like for not getting hit. So every time I get hit, it goes back to zero. I'm like pretty sure. We'll see. There, I just got hit back to one. So now we gotta charge it up somehow. I don't know how that works. The skull here is one of my go-to weapons. I like it. This is the little platforming thing. Like, remember, this is only the pilot gets this, right? Or not the pilot, the whatever I am, convict. You'll see later when I play a different character that their level two is different. But I kept this one in because I got past the first one and we actually get to see more of the game that's unique. But I'm pretty sure I get my ass handed to me here very soon. I mean, this platform is pretty crazy. Those blue guys suck. I should, really should have focused on him instead. But I'm not sure I had ever actually encountered them before. See, at this point, it's really easy to shit the bed. And you have some of your classic Enter the Gungeon stuff. You got blanks, which will remove all the bullets on the screen. So then we come up into part two, and we can actually use our key. And we unlock this guy. I don't know who he is or what he does, but whatever. You're a natural. Again, my kid is next to me. I'm probably wishing I was somewhere else, because we're in the middle of freaking no school quarantine crap. So who knows? Now we're rolling. 
I'm Dasuki. I can tell we're going to make a good combo. Come talk to me in the dungeon. I'll hook you up with something to combo with. I was starting to see imaginary numbers in there. You're a dice, dude. A die. Thanks for helping me out. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, if you're playing X of the Gungeon, I hope you're having a great time with it. I have been definitely having some fun with it. Frustrating, but again, I'm hoping to go the distance, man. I would like—I would love to be good at this game. I was reading that a typical run, like when you master it, takes like 15 minutes. So we'll see. I think so far my record of like actually surviving is like 10 or 11. This gun is terrible. It's like an egg. It does a shitload of damage, but it's really hard to aim and I don't like it. Big fan of the snowballer though, even though things are getting really out of hand. And there are top hats, dude. There's hats here as well. Now, I haven't had any super... and we're dead. I haven't had any experiences with wearing a hat specifically, but I'm hoping to unlock some later, because that would be cool. How long did we last, dude? Eight minutes. So at this point, I go back to the breach, and we're going to switch to the dog lady. I had tried the marine before, shit the bed immediately, and I was like, nope. So the dog lady has a little doggo, says we unlock the dice guy. And the dog collects things, I guess. In the original game, he, like, would grab stuff for you. But in this one, I have no idea what his function is. He's just kind of there, floating around, you'll see. He's got a little jetpack. It's kind of cute, actually. It doesn't really look like a dog at all. It looks like a hamster. Maybe it is a hamster. I don't know. But, as you can see, the first level here is the same as it was with the convict, prisoner, whatever. See, at least the... At least the convict had, like, a useful ability. I still have no... We're gonna watch this dog here. The gerbil. Whatever. See what it does, dude. Did it just smack that guy? That's useful. Hand cannon? Great weapon. Love that one. It's just like classic gungeon fun. I don't know what it is about Devolver Digital Games and the games that they choose to publish, but good god, they just have a style that is just addicting and just cool. It's never like super flashy freaking graphics, it's just all about crazy gameplay. And I just love that about them. So here's our first uh, little dungeon area. It looks surprisingly similar to the other one. I know I said there were a few random ones. Oh, here's the blunderbuss, dude. I hate it. All I'm thinking right now is how I want it to go away. Rotate into something else. So when you're doing the unlocks, you actually unlock new guns into the rotation, new items into the rotation that you spend all the money on. I might actually visit the store after this one. I don't remember. But we got our skull gun back, which is... The skull launcher here has been like our tried and true. We've used it a lot. And it works well. Sorry if I seem a little tired. I just recorded like... An hour of Metro voiceover. And now I'm doing Gungeon stuff. It's like... 10.04 at night, but... The Lodestone Amulet. Blank knockback up. Sweet. Hum softly in the presence of blanks. I have no idea how that's supposed to help you. Or what it does. When I'm playing a lot of games, I like to say, Hey, let's look for video games. Which means, hey, let's look for secrets. I know that this game is probably chocked full of, like, little things that you can figure out on these, like, elevator parts and dungeon parts, but I have no idea what to look for. So I just keep trying to destroy everything, poke at stuff, see how it goes. And I kept the hunter run in here because it was the first time I beat another boss, which was Medusa. 
which was like the first boss I encountered when I played the game for the very first time. She kicked my butt, dude. I was like, oh my god. How am I ever gonna do this? And here we are with like two and a half hours of practice, and we finally get to beat. I think it's Medusa at the end here. We're gonna find out here in about a couple minutes. Oh god, the tea's running out. I hate that. We're drinking a nice Earl Grey today. Nothing like some good coronavirus free tea, dude. Dude, look at this poor fella. I'm just zapping him with the power of the waves. Oh, here she is, dude. Medusa Lear. So, as you can see, she's got a little propeller up her butt. She's, um... She's mean looking. One thing about her is that she actually will attach these little, like, things to the wall that shoot at you, that you need to deal with. If you don't, they will get you. I feel like I got kind of lucky there running around the bottom. But at this point, I was like, oh my god, she's actually not killed me yet, and I'm just trying to survive. I'm mostly just watching my feet. Okay, so, so you see those little things she shot at the wall that are kind of going to trip you up here? Everything's all patterns and fun, except for those turds. Oh, see, they got me. She's almost dead. I see she's almost dead. I'm getting a little excited here. Taking unnecessary damage, just trying to whittle her down. Oh god. Now I'm like two hit, so I'm pretty scared. But we get her, dude. And that was the justice. Some gun boots. Gun boots are cool. Um, whenever you jump or dodge, they actually shoot. Little bullets. Again, we waste a meat. Well, we don't waste. We pay our 50, 50 monies to the rat boy. We buy the key. So that we can unlock whatever NPCs up there. So at this point, I gotta make some choices, right? Do I want health? Do I want armor? Um, I think I go armor because when you when you get hit with armor on, it like shoots out a little shockwave. I think it's almost like a blank. But I know it for sure like does stuff. And then I'm like, well, might as well spend it. So now we can continue up the gungeon and promptly get our asses handed to us. Saddle up. Okay, so as we talked about with the... Oh, this is a cool gun. It's a gun that shoots, shoots guns. They're always so creative. I actually have the Enter the Gungeon uh, Ammo Nomicon back there, which was like a special little book that they did um, with all of like the guns and the enemies in it about the game. It's really cool. It's a nice little hardcover. I'm sure you've seen it around. But um, this is the unique level for the hunter here. So it's like this little wooden platform thingy. Okay, those green guys suck, dude. They have a lot of hit points. And you see that little thing I picked up, that ice bomb? Sometimes things will like float down. And I still haven't quite figured out how they work or what to do. So I actually opened that thing there to try to see if it was in there like an item, but it wasn't. Green idiot still down there, messing up my day. He just won't die. Thank you. And then there's the boss here, of course. The rifle, I'm up in the air about. It's good if you don't have much stuff to hit, but if it's like a crazy amount of enemies on the screen, it's pretty much awful. But at least we make it to the stage to use our key. Hey, man. Yo. That's what I'm talking about. He's happy. At this point, I think I had to pause for dinner. Yeah. We pause for dinner. Or to yell at my kid. Or to drink beer. For some reason, we paused the game here. And then we came back. Whoa. You rock, ma'am. Thanks, I guess. I can't wait to get back to my sweet truck. By the way, in case we haven't met, I'm truck. I run the truck stop me up when you want some power-ups while you're going up. So we are unlocking people. I haven't seen any of them yet because I can't make it past stage any of the second level bosses. Searching for video games. How many shots can we take before we actually realize that we can't hit that because we're 
bad. Truck baby, here I come. So yeah, we're probably gonna get destroyed pretty quick here. I think our biggest mistake was uh, hanging out up top. Should have hung out at the bottom. We just didn't have enough space to actually do things. And we just weren't able to pay attention. This gun's actually kind of cool. Uh, if you can shoot it in bursts, it'll keep firing in a straight line. If not, it just the pattern spreads out and it sucks. Ooh, the Screecher. Yeah, that's, that's our jam, dude. We do love the Screecher. I might actually make it to the boss here. I'll die, but I'll make it. Believe. Okay. Yeah, there's just too many people for me to pick. Like, they're all in a line, nobody's dying. I should have jumped down so that I could get the spread on the others. And now I have the damn egg gun. Oh boy, the Iron Maiden. Boy, do we hate to remember that from the first game. Just die already. That was a pretty close call. There. Oh, okay, there we go. So, is this the boss fight? This is the boss fight. Now, here's the irony here. This boss is actually the first and only boss I was able to beat. And I haven't been able to beat him since. Unless I do win here, I don't win here. There's no way. I don't have enough life. I'm panicked. This platform's terrible. I use the blanks. I'm trying my best. A wind-up gun is a personal favorite. I just love the way it sounds, dude. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I just love them. Oh yeah, that hurt. This is the end, dude. The snowballer. I love to give a good snowball. Rip. Down we go. So out of playing all four characters, that was my two best runs. I did the prison lady and then the marine which was like three minutes and then I did the hunter which was like close to ten and then I do try the pilot but it doesn't work out so looks like there's no part of me going into the store if I ever make any videos of the game again I'll show you the store but it's basically the big it's the snarky girl with her big robot but this is the pilot his superpower is cheaper prices in the store which is like whatever I think I'm showing this here. Yep, reduce prices at shops. Completely useful. I mean, if you're good at the game and you actually get to the shops a lot, awesome. But for right now, I think the prisoner is my best one. So I will probably end up, if I ever beat this game, is beating it with her. See, we just picked up that power up there. But uh, this video is about to end, so I better go. Exit the Gungeon Man, check it out. Be good to each other, and I will see you guys in the next one, man. Take care.